Swissami Risky Tool, Victorinox. It's got a good blade, half serrations, or sorry, two thirds serrations, and a little bit towards the handle there is straight edge as you can see. The lock is actually uh, in reverse to normal. If you're right handed, you would normally push down to close it. Um, but this one, if you're left handed, you push down to close it. See, it works in reverse to what you normally um, use. So normally you would push down and then close. But in this case you've got to push it up before you can close it. Right. The other thing is this is the only part of the knife that actually has a finger hole for one handed opening like that. The other tool which you get in here is a glass cutter. Now it won't actually cut through glass like if this is plate glass you can't actually cut straight through it. This works in conjunction with that and I'll show you in a minute. That has not got any locking mechanism on it whatsoever but it's got a nice solid click at the end and you do have to put a bit of effort into closing it. Now the good thing about this, it's interchangeable. If this gets damaged or if it goes blunt or for whatever reason you need to replace it, you close it and then you just bring it out just a little bit and you push it against something. It's a bit tough, but it works. Okay, you can see the curve. And there's the pin just in there. So you put the curve, that curved hole back onto the pin. And as you push, that glides back on. Now the other blade you got on here is this one. Again, it's a non-locking blade. Now that has a protrusion just here. The idea being that you catch it on something to open it. So you can still open it single-handedly, but it takes practice. I'll show you what I mean. It's actually quite easy. Use a lip from a pocket or even the seam. As you run it along, you can feel it. The trick is when you're doing something like that on the pocket, when you pull out, don't push down because you'll slice your jeans or your pants wide open. So once you hook, you pull out. And on the seam, the idea is once you hook it and you start a movement, you're actually pivoting the body. You can go back like that, but then you're exposing the cutting edge to your body. So just hook and turn. You can see how this is used um, in the video, which I'll supply the link for down below. Now on the back, you've got a Phillips head screwdriver. And next to that, you've got uh, a punch hole maker, an awl, or whatever you want to call it, um, 
you know, a bit of a, a blunt blade just here. And it's good for punching holes in canvas and leather and stuff like that. And you've got the um, glass puncher, glass breaker, which is also removable. Let's grab that. Oops. And there you go. Takes a bit of effort to pull that out. But you can buy spares of these. And they're easy enough to put back in. That little hook there, actually you need to bite into that little groove just in there. And that's back on. If you find, if you don't carry this in a pouch, but in your pocket or something like that, you may find that digs into you. So you can actually remove it and use the knife without the glass breaker on it. So there you have it. Swiss Army Rescue Tool, Glass Cutter, Seat Belt Cutter, and Rope Cutter, your main blade, two thirds serrated, one third straight, with a liner lock. And uh, the scales. Inside the scales, you got the usual toothpick. And on the other side, a pair of fine tweezers. Now, because this is a high visibility knife, you've got the yellow scales. I've attached a grab cord, a small lanyard, that I've also um, which is also high visibility and if you want to buy something like this just go to your mountaineering store or camping survival store I'm sure they'll have something similar but one thing which I have not seen anyone else do on the video reviews the scales there's something special about these scales the scales actually glow in the dark. Now I have not charged this with my flashlight. This is residual uh, light um, that it collected from when they were sitting on the counter when I was filming it before. So this is just the basic sunlight. So this is the side I was facing up. Now if I turn it over, that's the side that was on the actual desktop. Because it didn't get any sunlight, it wasn't charged. See the difference? Now if I grab my flashlight See, it even picks up, it's so sensitive it picks up there's all different rings of light because this flashlight I'm not sure if you can see it you see the different rings it's not a hundred percent one spot so it's so sensitive it picks up the different rings look at that that's so cool